Diaries. Dork Diaries. Dork Dork Diaries. Dork Dork Diaries. Nikki Maxwell. Nikki 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 Maxwell. Nikki Nikki Dork Diaries. Dork Diaries. Let's have a little extract. Wednesday, September the fourth. My new issue of That's So Hot magazine says the secret to happiness is the four Fs. Friends, fun, fashion, and flirting. But unfortunately, the closest I've ever got to friends, fun, fashion, and flirting is having a locker right next to Mackenzie Hollister. She's the most popular girl in the eighth grade. Lucky me. I had just finished fighting my way through the crowded hallways to get to my locker and had almost been trampled alive. Then, suddenly, as if by magic, the huge mob of students parted right down the centre, just like the Red Sea. That's when I first saw Mackenzie strutting down the hallway like it was the runway of a Paris fashion show or something. She had blonde hair and blue eyes and was dressed like she had just finished a photo shoot for the cover of Teen Vogue. And everyone, except me, immediately fell under her powerful hypnotic spell and totally lost their minds. What's up, Mackenzie? You look fabulous, Mackenzie. Are you coming to my party this weekend, Mackenzie? Your shoes are to die for, Mackenzie. Will you marry me, Mackenzie? You'll never guess who has a crush on you, Mackenzie. Is that another designer purse, Mackenzie? Love your hair today, Mackenzie. It was Mackenzie, Mackenzie, Mackenzie. When she walked up to the locker right next to mine, I knew then and there I was going to have a very bad school year. Being so close to the radiance of her awesome yet sickening perfection just made me feel like a humongous loser and it didn't help that she was hogging most of my personal space. Hey, it wasn't like I was jealous of her or anything. I mean, how totally juvenile would that be? Between classes, Mackenzie and her friends are forever standing in front of my locker, GGGing. That means giggling, gossiping, and glossing. And whenever I get up the nerve to say, excuse me, but I really need to get into my locker, she just ignores me or rolls her eyes and says stuff like, annoying much? Or what's her problem? And I'm like, hey girlfriend, I don't have no stinking problem. But I just say it inside my head, so no one really hears it except me. However, deep down I'm troubled and ashamed that a tiny part of me, a very dark and primitive side, would totally love to be best friends with Mackenzie and I find that part of myself so disgusting I could vomit. But on a much happier note, I'm really into lip gloss too. My favorite one right now is Crazy Kissalicious Strawberry Crush Glitterati. It's yummy and tastes just like strawberry cheesecake. Unfortunately, no super cute hunk like Brandon Roberts, the guy who sits in front of me in my biology class, has developed a huge crush on me and fallen in love with my fabulous glossy lips, like in all of those crazy kissalicious television commercials. But hey, it could happen. Dork Diaries is a sweet and funny book about the trials of a self-confessed art dork at secondary school. Mr. O approves of Dork Diaries.